spooky eyeball cake with little ghosts on top. Those are ghosts on top. They're ghosts. Let's see what's cooking. It's time for yo yo Banks 12. Hello, everyone. You'll need a chocolate cake for this. I'm using a cake mix that I'm going to modify by adding some extra ingredients. And I've used this te technique before in Max's Minecraft cake video. So if you want to try this cake, go ahead and click on your screen at the top or look in the description box for the recipe ingredients. This alteration of a cake mix actually makes it quite fudgy. It makes it dense and moist and delicious, almost like a pound cake. Divide that up among three standard size cake tins and spread it out evenly because this cake batter is super thick and is not self-leveling. Then you're gonna bake it and then cool the cake. Now for the frosting, you will need about two recipes worth of buttercream frosting. Divide it between three bowls and then tint each one a different color. I'm using this neon orange, neon green, and a kind of a neon purple color. Now keep in mind when you're tinting your frosting that as frosting dries and ages a little bit, the color will darken a bit. So you're gonna put some frosting on the first layer of cake and because we're not going to frost the whole cake, that there's going to be some cake showing through on the sides, try to get it as even as you can. And you'll have one color per layer. All the way up. And then the final layer of frosting on the final layer of cake. Now you don't have to put the, you know, you don't have to put green, purple, orange. You can put them in any order you want. That's up to you. And I just smoothed it off a bit. Now you're going to decorate the top by putting the, the, the leftover frosting that you have in piping bags and you're going to pipe little ghost shapes or little monster shapes on the top of the cake. And just kind of mixed up the colors a little bit so that they're not all purple in one section. You don't kind of want to mix it up. Now, when I saw the photo of this in the magazine, and I've had a clipping of this particular cake in my to-do list for many, many years, um, to me, they look like little ghosts because they're in the shape of a ghost, right? They're in the shape of a ghost or a little monster and you put little eyes on them and they look like little ghosts. Well, I finished this cake and I proudly showed it to Max and his friends who happened to come in the house at the time and many of them started laughing and I'm like, what? Well, what do you think of the cake? Why are you laughing? What's so funny? And one of his friends said, you just made a poop emoji Halloween cake. And I took another look at it and I went, oh my goodness, I think you're right. That looks like that's what I have done. But I said, they're ghosts, they're not poop emojis. Anyway, there is there's a photo of the cake that I have found in the magazine. And they are a little bit rounder than mine. And these ones look, these ones kind of look like little monsters, kind of. Probably not as much as uh, my, my train. They're not quite as triangular as mine are. Anyway. Well, poopy emoji or not, I think it's still a cute cake, and I hope you give this one a try. It's super simple, and uh, it looks great when it's all done. I have an entire playlist of Halloween-themed cupcakes, including this one here, which are killer strawberries. If you're interested, check it out. Thanks for watching.